beautiful scarf. But knowing your fantastic taste in art, I'm not surprised. Uh, martini, vodka, martini, please. Dirty, filthy. Uh, make that too. I'm sorry, Mr. Cassidy. I don't have time to talk. I need to get back to campus. Trina, wait, please. Just five minutes. That's all I'm asking. What do you want? Ava values your judgment. I have a choice to make, and I'm not sure which is the right one. For Ava's Christmas present, I don't know how to choose. The emeralds. Or the rubies. Which one says Ava? You know what? I've changed my mind. Forget the drink. But on my account? Oh, no, I do wish you wouldn't. After all, it is the festive season and we are family. Shouldn't we be getting to know each other a little better? Did you follow me here? I did. I cannot lie. I was going to drop by Windermere and uh, leave these gifts under the tree, but uh, since my last reception there, I thought, um, well, maybe I could just leave them with you. What is that? Some kind of Trojan horse? I wouldn't know. Yaroskin. If money's not an object, don't break up the set. Nothing says Christmas like red and green. <sighs> well, you not only have Ava's taste, you have her nerve. No wonder she likes you so much. And you're right. She can wear one on Christmas and the other on New Year's Eve. Thank you. Wait, you said there's nothing you wouldn't do for Ava, so... Why can't you do the same for Spencer? I'm so glad you didn't cancel your drink. Now, I don't blame you for being skeptical, but uh, well, the best Christmas gift I have is not in the shopping bags. You're leaving town, are you? <sighs> <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. It's a surprise. But if it brings peace and goodwill to all men, then, well, perhaps it's the perfect gift for the whole family. Unless, of course, you think it's in Nicholas's best interests, and your own, for Spencer to remain at odds with his father. Well, that's between Nicholas and Spencer. Oh, now you know better than that, Ava. Nicholas is torn between love for his wife and love for his son. If only you could see past Spencer's transgressions. Chalk his, um, his theatrics up to just being part of his Cassidyne DNA. He used my little girl. That's more than a transgression, as far as I'm concerned. Call it a mistake. Call it a bad decision. But that young man has a lot of potential. The real crime would be to let it go to waste. From where I see it, it's up to his elders to do what's best for him. Oh. The way you did what's best for Hayden and her mother. 